So we finally got pictures of our hit list uh, firecracker. And he's a giant, he grew a drop time this year on his left side. And I found his right side last year in shed. So uh, we've already seen him a couple times in this bean field here. And I had a bad setup. I tried to get footage of it, it wasn't very good. So we're gonna go try to find him again. And um, I got my phone scope this time, so it should be a little steadier footage. And hopefully he's out there so we can get some good footage for you guys. Well guys, we just drove around, me and Jeffrey. We're gonna go see if we can find Firecracker. And we drove by the first time, not a single deer in the field. So we decided to kind of take some back roads somewhere else and look for deer. Seen a couple nice bucks. Made our way back through and we parked and looked up there and there was probably, what, like 10 deer. And I could tell he was out there like almost right away. I'm like, oh, okay, he's probably out there. Put my binoculars up, seen just giant buck. I got some awesome footage with the spot and scope. Um, so you guys will be able to see him pretty good there. I got Jeffrey behind the camera right now. He's going to be the shooter, hopefully, on October 1st. We've already got some stands set up. And if he keeps doing what he's doing, if he did what he did last year, he's toast. So, And he's big. I think he's probably going to be 2 210. Don't quote me, but 210 is my guess. Let's find out October 1st. October 2nd, um, our second sit after Firecracker. No Jeffrey with me today, just me. My first sit of the year with the brand new Matthews in my hand. Um, I'm pumped. Uh, Jeffrey stayed up late last night. He had to go pick up a buddy. He flew in, uh, he just got back from the military. So he decided to take a nap after work today and I'm going to take advantage of that and see if I can't put a big one down. Walking into the stand right now. Got a pretty steady south wind. Um, let's see if we can seal the deal tonight.
actually last night firecracker showed up on about an hour after dark but he finally came across the road we've been getting his picture on the other side of the road in the daylight but we need a west wind we've been having east winds so he finally came across the road i'm hoping he continues that pattern and he just gets earlier and we're here for him so yeah, he just he just needs to cooperate we can have some big buck jeffrey's in the driver's seat and he's ready to put the smack down on the wood November 4th, I woke up to an amazing video of Firecracker working one of our rope scrapes. I immediately knew what two stands needed to be occupied for this morning's hunt. And sure enough, my dad gets an incredible encounter.
while this is going on, just across the road, me and Jeffy spot one of our target eight pointers. And what better time to kill this buck than now, since we know we won't be disturbing Firecracker at all. blind right now. My dad seen firecracker this morning over on this farm. I believe he's still there with the doe so me and Jeff are headed out early. Just got his big buck tagged. And I thought it was my turn but I was sadly mistaken. It's uh, still Jeffrey's turn I guess. He's got that 230 under his belt. Yeah so we're headed out early. Me and Jeff are going to be sitting in a stand called the oak tree. And my dad and my grandpa are going to be sitting in a different stand over a different corn plot. Same farm, so hopefully one of us one of us gets it done. Alright guys, we're set up in the oak tree. We haven't seen a deer yet, but my dad and my grandpa are set up in this blind across the field. They can see a little bit more of this area. It's not a very big field here where we got where we gotta designate this area for deer. And they just seen firecracker chasing the doe and went into this woods. This woods is not, not big at all. seen six or seven too in the same spot I'm sitting, sitting tonight um, but last night my dad and my grandpa seen firecracker right out here um, probably about 300 yards out chasing a doe and me and my brother were sitting across the field so we were actually closer to him but we never laid eyes on him uh, with no pictures of firecracker last night or this morning so we're not really sure where he's at but we're still we're just hunting the stands we can with the best wind and just praying to God it comes together. That's about all we can do at this point. So let's see what happens tonight. After sleeping through my alarm and having my brother wake me up, I decide to fly solo and hunt the trailer park blind instead of sitting with Jeffy as planned. And it's a good thing I did.
so much freaking smoke with these muscle loaders. I was super steady on him. He came, I, I actually, I seen him with my binoculars and I didn't know, it, I, it looked like a sticks. I thought it was a bush and I'm like, ah, uh, let me, let me check with my scope. Or, and then it moved and I was like, holy crap, that's, that's freaking him. Oh, I'm shaking so much. <laughs> so anyway, I, I know where he's headed, he has a doe. I range find the spot. My freaking rangefinder is dead. Nothing's popping up. You know, yesterday I tried to range find something else dead and I forgot to put a battery in it. So I, I frantically called my dad. Like, hey, last time you filmed him, how far was that? How far was that? He's like, uh, 175, 180, 175, 180. So I dial my scope to 175, 180. Um, and I was super steady on him. I squeezed it off. Um, I, I really, really hope I put a good hit on him. Um, this is a, I mean, a once in a lifetime Michigan bug. Just a stud of a deer. And I, I hope we sealed the deal on him. I mean, what an awesome story. I found a shed last year. My dad had an encounter with him two years ago. Me and Kylie had an encounter with him. My grandpa passed him last year because he broke half his rack off. I just hope we sealed the deal with him. Um, I'm, I'm so pumped right now, and I, I couldn't see anything after the smoke, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna back out of here and go tell the folks at home, and hopefully we can have a big puck party later. Dude, he's standing there in front of me and I'm like, I honestly don't want to shoot him because I know Jeffrey's going to be dick. I was mad, but at least we killed him. I hope so. I, I couldn't see nothing. Hmm. And if you shoot, there's a bunch of smoke. Yeah, I don't know how far are they? I don't know. My rainfinder's broken. Oh, jeez. So I called Dad and said, hey, last time you filmed him, last time you filmed him, how, how far was he? Uh, 175, 175, 180. Okay. Dialed it to 175, 180, he stepped on the opening, I freaking let him have it. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if I hit him or not. Hopefully. Huh? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I know it.
Oh yeah. Is he? Where's he? Oh yeah. Smoke them. Smoke them. Nothing broke. Holy crap. Jeez. He's got mad. Yeah, he does. Look at this. Jeez. Holy crap. Yeah, it's unreal. I was afraid he'd have a bunch of stuff broke. <laughs> oh my gosh. She'll let him go one more. <laughs> He's got baby face, don't he? <clears throat> yeah, get two thousand. You might only be four and a half. I'll bet you we're gonna get five more to go through. Body. Here, I need to do an interview. Yeah. I'm still rolling. All right. Keep going, getting. All righty. Well, it's definitely been a long time coming. Uh, I've been watching this. This is the fourth year, and my grandpa let him go last year. He broke half his rack off. Two years ago, me and Kylie seen him in the canyon. I found a shed last year, and he blew up this year. Blew up, and I'm I'm speechless. It's awesome being with everybody here. Just a special moment. This is, this is cool. Shut that bucket here. Take pictures for it. Maybe a few years.